A legendary Bronx boxing club reopens after being knocked out of operation last year due to a fire. Our Roger Clark paid the club a visit and even threw a few punches of his own. That is the sound of hard work as boxers trained at the Morris Park Boxing Club, which has been grooming fighters of all ages for around 35 years. But the club was hit hard a year ago when an electrical fire pretty much destroyed it, leaving hundreds of boxers out in the cold. It was really sad. Um, and at the time, I was like, am I ever going to get to box again? But after a year of rebuilding, the club is back and better than ever. The gym's roster of fighters scattered after the fire, but are now starting to return. Capolino travels all the way from upstate Poughkeepsie to train here. Not only is it really good and full of professionals, but it's a really good family atmosphere. Um, and everyone just cares about everybody. It's just the best. Uh, one of the amazing things about this gym is that all the folks who run it have been here for years. Joe DiGuardia is a Golden Gloves champ whose dad once ran the place. Now he owns the building and had no doubt it would rise from the ashes. His star boxing fight promotion company helped make it happen, along with donations from Everlast, which makes boxing equipment. So many people have come out of this place and out of this gym and have been able to, you know, better their lives because of this gym. Thanks to trainers like Victor Pena, who gave some of his time to teach some moves to this reporter, and even New York One photographer Jessica Mitchell got a few jabs in. Pena has been here since the start and is glad to be back. Now we're getting ready for the Golden Gloves, which start in January, and um, we're getting kids in shape. We'll come out of the street, they want to learn about boxing, they come to the gym, and I'm always here for them. Dex Pachinovic manages the place. He first came here to box in 1986. It's great to be back. Everybody's so happy the gym is open. Which is good, since this guy needs a little work on his left hook. In the Bronx, Roger Clark, New York 1.